It's Beatles Week, coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. It's our mug of the month. Death is dead. Mug, t-shirt, poster, huge poster with just this logo in the middle. Such a cool thing. And of course, we've got that and our download poster, which looks like this. Death is dead. Our coffee to put in the mug. Headbangers brew. And uh, we got it all right here. We are metal. We are family. Dot com. Beatles Week. How excited are we? <laughs> Some of you are saying, what are you having a Beatles Week for? You know, it's interesting how music influences us. And I grew up with the Beatles. There wasn't any Christian rock music then at all. Nothing even close to it. Yeah. And I was an early teenager when the Beatles came out. And oh my goodness. What a game changer. I remember sitting and watching the Ed Sullivan show when the Beatles performed on it for the first time. I think every teenager in America was glued to the TV set. And uh, and I remember watching them and, and, uh, and, and you know, their hair wasn't even long. It was just kind of combed down a little bit. And my dad said, you'll never have hair like that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> But um, people were horrified. Oh, my goodness, people are going to be like the Beatles, you know. They're going to pattern themselves after this group. That can't be good. But, man, I love the Beatles. They were a good band. They still are. Still my favorite. But I memorized the lyrics. Memorized them. I knew every breath of every album. Devoured them. To this day, I still remember them. In fact, I I um I listen to the Beatles sometimes when I'm sitting in a coffee shop, and it's really hard for me not to sing along, you know, because I have my earbuds in, and so it's hard for me not to sing along. And many times I do, and I know that I'm singing along because I look at people around me kind of smirking and smiling, and I think, I just did it again. I know. <laughs> but I've got to thinking about this, which is the reason I started this particular podcast this series. What are the lyrics saying? You say, Pastor Bob, you talk about lyrics. You talk about this all the time. What do you mean? Well, you know, in those days, we I may have had every breath memorized, but it didn't occur to me what most of the songs were talking about didn't grasp any deeper meanings. I just loved the music. And I think a lot of people listened with that intent. And so when you start to find out about your favorite songs as you grow older and, and you realize that the song was really about something else, you think, really? We didn't know that. <laughs> Maybe it was I didn't know that. I was just naive. I'm not sure. But such a big influence the Beatles have been on my life. Just the music, the inspiration with all of that. And, uh, and that's why I wanted to choose five songs, lyrics, partial lyrics, and comment on them. So I thought I'd start with Magical Mystery Tour. I know it's not the first album. But there's a song here that many people know called Strawberry Fields Forever. And it was kind of the first song that had this, this kind of a sitar sound and kind of a mystical sound. And it was very hippie, uh, very um, uh, kind of a psychedelic song, all of that. And of course, that's when a lot of the drugs were coming in. and. I don't even still to this day know exactly what the song's about. It could be about that. I'm not sure. But I was thinking about this song in particular when it was playing in my earbuds. And I thought, aren't these lyrics interesting? He say, well, Pastor Bob, you had them memorized. I did. But I never thought about what they meant. 
still have it with most of these lyrics. It's really fascinating to me how all of these years have gone by and I carefully study lyrics with almost everything else. And the Beatles, I just haven't really thought that much about. It's always been about the music. But the song that came out, by the way, 55 years ago, I know, it's a long time. And uh, 55 years ago, I was 15 years old. And it says, living is easy with eyes closed misunderstanding all you see. It's getting hard to be someone, but it all works out. Doesn't matter much to me. Well, and there's some truth there as well. Living is easy when your eyes are closed, when you don't have to notice everything that's going on, when you stay uninvolved and you misunderstand everything that you see that's happening. And I, I don't think that there are lyrics that probably capsulize what we see going around us, on around us today, as these first two lines. Living is easy with eyes closed. Just ignore all the stuff that's happening and misunderstand everything you see. Just listen to, you know, false media, to listen to the wrong people. If you if your interpretations are lies and dishonesty and much around us, interpretations, people giving us their own ideas, falls in that category. But it's easy when your eyes are closed. It's easy when you can just misinterpret it. You don't have to do anything and then the last line, it doesn't matter much to me. Well, of course, because you've ignored what's going on. But folks, the deeper truth is that we have to be involved. And the Beatles are talking about some people here that are very concerning, and it's still concerning today. Romans chapter 12, starting with verse 9. And it says, let your love be sincere, a real thing. Hate what is evil, loathe all ungodliness, turn in horror from wickedness, but hold fast to that which is good. So be sincere, that's the first thing. It's the real thing. Let your love be sincere and hate what is evil. When your love is sincere, you automatically begin to hate those things that are opposed to love, that are opposed to agape, that are leading people in the wrong direction. And then it tells us how to live, love one another, with a brotherly affection as members of one family. This is to the body of Christ, giving precedence and showing honor to one another. Wow, wouldn't it be cool if that was happening? Never lag in zeal and in earnest endeavor. In other words, go for it. Never just fall behind and say, I'm just going to keep my eyes closed. I'm not going to notice anything that's going on. I'm just going to misunderstand it, misinterpret it, and I'm fine. But never lack in zeal and earnest endeavor and really begin to focus on what you want in life and what the truth is and go for it. Be aglow and burning with the Spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoice and exult in hope. I like that. Be steadfast and patient in suffering and in tribulation. <clears throat> Be constant in prayer. So this is a great portion of scripture with great advice. And then it goes even further. It says, contribute to the needs of God's people, sharing in the necessities of the saints. Pursue the practice of hospitality. Get involved. Be kind to each other and invite them in. Bless those who persecute you. What? Yeah. Bless those who persecute you, who are cruel in their attitudes towards you. Bless and do not curse them. 
Rejoice with those who rejoice. In other words, sharing other people's joy. And weep with those who weep, sharing in their grief as well. And then finally, it says, live in harmony with one another. Do not be hottish. Haughty. <laughs> hottish. <laughs> Sounds like Scottish or Hobbitish. I don't know. Do not be haughty, snobbish, high-minded, exclusive, but readily adjust yourself to people and things and give yourselves to humble tasks. Never overestimate yourself or be wise in your own conceits. Yeah. In other words, folks, don't hide under a rock. Get involved. Love people around you. Don't misunderstand everything that's going on, but engage it. Some good advice. I'm not sure that's exactly what the Beatles meant, but that's what we're going to take. <laughs> so, Beatles Week coming up all week long. Got some stuff to share with you. And folks, don't forget, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.